This tutorial will show you exactly what you can do to gain complete control of any computers, of any machine. And this is crazy. I kid you not, if you watch carefully to the end, you will see everything that you need to do in order to gain complete control of the computer you're targeting. And I know why you're here. You want to become Mr. Hacker Law, isn't it? To be so cool and to be able to just send a link. And next thing you know, you can completely control the phone or the machine or whichever the case is. And yes, we'll be learning just that. And remember kids, hacking is illegal. If you want to hack, you want to send a link to anyone to execute the file, send it to Mr. Hacker Lloyd. Because once you send it to Mr. Hacker Lloyd, what I will do is I'll help you analyze your link so that I can get your IP address. I will know your account. I will know what computer you're using. And then after which I help you control your computer for free. Yeah, it is completely free of charge, I promise you. So first thing first, you have Mr. Hacker Lloyd on the left. And what Mr. Hacker Lloyd would do would then be to create a malicious file. And this file can be in any format that you want. It could be a Microsoft Word document. It could be a BAT file. Whichever the case is, what you want to do is to be able to send this file over to the user. And in this case, let's say we send it to Script Kitty Lloyd. And what Script Kitty Lloyd would then do is that he will execute onto the file. All right. And once the file has been executed, that will then allow us to complete control over the computer system. OK, and from there on, we'll be able to literally do anything that we want to do to a target machine, including remotely controlling the entire laptop or the desktop or the machine, whichever the case is. All right. So right in front of us, we're in Kala Linux, which is our ethical hacking operating system. Yes. So we'll be using this to go after any computers that we want to. So the first thing you want to do, you can use sudo app install PowerShell Empire. All right. So we'll be using Empire to be the one to help us attack and gain access to a target machine. So as you can see here, we have already gotten the latest version. Next up, what you can do is you can do sudo PowerShell Empire followed by server, the start of the server. And you can see here, we are loading default configuration, bypasses, stages, modules, and we'll explain a little more as we run through the entire tutorial for you, okay? There you go, server is ready, as you can see right here, okay? Once you're ready, go ahead and open up a new terminal and enter sudo PowerShell Empire, okay, followed by client, hit enter on that, and we'll begin connecting to the server that we have created earlier, all right? So you can see over here, attempting to connect, and then now we're in, we're connected to local host. And what we can do next is go ahead and enter use listener, all right, followed by HTTP. So there are many different options for us when it comes to listener. And what happens is once a user clicks the link, execute a file, that's it, we gain remote access into the entire computer system. And what we can do here is we can go ahead and say set port, all right, by say 4321. So you can see here we have all this different information. So we have the port number, we have the name, we have the launcher and so on and so forth. Go ahead and hit enter on that and that's it done. We'll set up the port number. And we go ahead and enter execute and you can see here, listener with name HTTP already exists. So we can enter say listeners. And then we can see over here, we have a HTTP client server, right? That is running on HTTP on that. And next up, what we can do is we can create the malicious file. So we use stager, all right? And in this case, we can use Windows slash, as you can see here, we have a lot of options. We have reverse shell, we have macro, we have backdoor, launcher, VBS, and so many different options available for us. So in this case, I can say use launcher underscore BAT. All right, and then we can set the listener all right, so in this case, HTTP is our listener. So once we have that, all we got to do is go ahead and enter execute in three, two, one, hit enter. And that's it. You can see the following. Launcher.bat written to varlib PowerShell Empire client generated stages launcher.bat. And now that we've created a malicious file, what we need to do is to be able to host it and send it over to target user as a link. So what we can do now is go ahead and open up our Apache service. So enter sudo systemctl start apache2.service, hit enter on that. So we've started our web server. And next thing what we can do now is to go ahead and move that file that we have created into var www.html. And before that, all right, let's go ahead and put a super user do else we'll get a permission denied statement. And here we have our target machine, which is a Windows computer, and they're entering the IP address. So in the real world, you'll be having a domain name followed by whichever port number that you're running on and followed by, of course, the launcher.bat file. So with that, all I got to do is go ahead and hit enter and then we'll begin. What do you want to do with launcher.bat? So I can save as and perhaps I can drop it into the download folder in Windows. Go ahead and click save on that. And if you go ahead and open up the folder of downloads, you can see here we have the launcher file. So go ahead and double click on it. And that's it. It is literally game over right now.
And I can see right here, we got a following sending agent at 192.168.0186. So we are in and we can interact with the Hacklin machine now by entering agents. And we can see right here, we got a following, all right? So this is the language, the IP address, the username, and all these different details that were received. And we are able to further the attack on the target machine. So what we can do is use module. In this case, we can say use PowerShell followed by slash collection. So you can see a lot of different modules that are available for us to target into the machine. So collection, and then what we can do here is we can target, say toast it, hit enter on that. Okay, and we can see all the different options is available and we can set, say, verify crats. They will help us check for the username and the password field that's been entered by the user. So in this case, I'll set that to true. Next up, what we can do is set the agent. All right, in this case, we have one single agent that we can target. And once we have all this, all you got to do right now is execute this module against the target machine and we can begin collecting the username and password field. So let's go ahead and enter execute. And you want to watch really carefully on the bottom right, okay? In three, two, one, I hit execute and I jump over into the Windows machine, watch carefully. You can see right here, there's a pop-up. Windows will restart in five minutes to finish installing updates. And once I go ahead and click restart, all right, you can see the following information here. Are you sure you want to reschedule restarting your PC? I enter my username as well as my password. I click OK, and that's it. I jump back over to Kyle Linux. And you can see over here, we got a fish credentials right there. Loy Liang Yang and a password of 1345678. Next thing I want to show you over here is we're back to the Windows machine. And I'm going to go on the remote desktop and click don't allow remote connections to this computer. I click apply. I click OK on that. And I jump back over to Kyle Linux. And what we can do here now is to be able to use module and I can enter RDP to see whether we can enable RDP here. So which means that this gives us remote desktop protocol on the target machine. Hit enter on that. Okay. And we have the agent enter execute. Hit enter on that again. And oh, we got an error. Module needs to run in elevated context. Don't panic. It's okay. It's normal. All right. What we want to do now is to elevate our privileges. So what we want to do is to enter use module. And in this case, we want to look out for some kind of bypass, perhaps on the USC segment of things. So here, let's take a look at some of the options that we have. All right. So we have PowerShell, we have privilege escalation, and we have bypass USC. Hit enter on that. Okay, so we got a following. All right, we have user agent, we have the agent. So let's go ahead and set agent to the target agent that we have. All right, we got all this different information right now. Let's go ahead and set the listener to. All right, so in this case, we have HTTP listener. Hit enter on that. And once you're ready, enter execute. Go back over to the target machine because task has been executed now. And we can see right here. SQL Client Configuration Utility EXE, hit yes on that. And once we jump back over to Kyle Linux, we now have a new agent. And how do we know that? We can enter agents, hit enter, and you can see the following. Here, there's something really special because we have an asterisk. Asterisk means that we have elevated permissions, elevated contacts, so that we can do a lot more things. Just for example, being able to enable remote desktop connection to a target server. So now what we want to do is interact with the target agent, which has the elevator privilege. So hit enter on that and now we use the same module all right so here again i'll enter rdp and then we have the powershell management enable rdp hit enter on that and then once you're ready on this go ahead and hit execute and once you do that it has now gone into the target machine and has enabled the rdp so you can see right here all right we have the following enable rdp completed so now let's go ahead and remotely connect to the target server. So I can use the X free RDP. And then what we want to do now is specify the username that we have collected, as well as the password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in this case, of course, the target IP address of 192.168.0.186. And once you're ready in three, two, one, hit enter on that. And you can see the following. Boom. That's it. We're in. We have full complete control of the entire computer system. With great power comes great responsibility. What you have seen is just a simple introductory of using Empire PowerShell to help us gain complete control of the system and to run a lot of all these post-exploitation attacks against those target systems. I hope you learned something valuable and insightful in today's tutorial. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you do not get hacked.